Good morning, residents of planet Earth. Welcome to another edition of Jag Lives, where today I am, my goodness me, I'm steaming up already. Crikey. Yeah, so this thing here I've got on here, it's a proper, proper mask that I got from Sean. So thank you, Sean. He does the Echo Vox thing. He's, he's into doing the spirits and all that kind of stuff. So it'd be great just to join up with them one day and go and do it, because I've got Echo Vox actually on my phone and uh, on my iPad, but I don't know how to use the damn thing. So and it cost me £14.99. pence. So this thing, it feels like, you know, Darth Vader, you know. The force is strong in that one, you know. So, um, but yes, yeah, a proper master. Thank you, Sean. For, I don't know if I'm going to wear it out in public now. That's the only thing. And I'm massively steaming up. That's weird. So, uh, Listen, thank you very much, Sean. You left them under my, my wipers for me, so that's very good of you, mate. Thank you. Now, I know I'm in the car. Now, I was having a bit of an argument with one of the subscribers. Um, now, I can see his point. I know I'm wrong. I'll, I'll admit it. In this, I'm wrong. I shouldn't be driving. We should only be going for essentials, man. But I said for, you know... Now, I mean, what is essential? I mean, like, I've run out of jam today, right? So I need jam. It's essential because I have it on toast all the time. I love strawberry jam and toast. And I've run out, but you know, it's not really classed as an essential. Come on, let's face it. But as I said, to me, it can be um, an essential. But I'm not. I'm not going to go and just buy jam today, folks. So no shops, and I'm only going to drive about a mile to Sainsbury's car park, and then go for a little walk along the Dichty Burn. I think anyway. That's that's the, that's the plan. But as you know, plans can change. So I said to, to the subscriber, I was arguing with. You know, you're right, mate, you are. And uh, I'll admit I'm wrong this time, and I shouldn't be driving. But uh, for some of them, he's always out and about. It's very difficult to suddenly stop. So I'm slowly, you know, shortening my distances. And then one day I will just walk, and that's it. But uh, yeah, today, just got to go. As I said, just, it's just a mile's drive. So we'll, we'll see how we get on today. Right, here we go today. Another another one. Here we go. Let's hope Boris gets... gets um, Gets well, man. I really do. I mean, I know he's a bit of a buffoon and all that, but he's all right. Boris is all right. He's, he's really trying to keep the country together in this time of massive crisis. There, no wonder that maybe the stress of it all it's just can be too much for man. So, I really, really hope he pulls through and he comes out and he's all right. He didn't look well in that photograph, did he? No, so let's all pull together for Boris. I think we should all clap for Boris at uh, eight o'clock. I don't know when it was Sunday night or something. We should all just go out there and give Boris a round of applause, you know, for his, his sterling efforts in this horrific time of crisis. It must it must be like being Churchill during the war. He had to make so many decisions, and he made wrong decisions, you know. But we got through it all. And um, as f I'm, I'm, no, I'm not even going to talk about the Queen's speech, right? Anyway, let's uh, <laughs> let's just go on with the day, shall we? Oh, it's a disaster, folks. The knobs come off the bottom, off the back there. There should be a black knob on there. And I was only, I was only twisting it just... I was just twisting my knob <laughs> two seconds ago. Man. What? The phone now is what's going on. It's just oh, it's a pure disaster, man. Come back. What's going on? Oh, for heaven's sake, folks. This is just a, a disaster. My plan's kind of changed a bit. I've come here to drum geeth. To have a look about just walk underneath there and see what's going on but um as you can see folks the uh the knobs come off the back then i don't know where it is it's odd it's odd i've lost the knob what's going on all right folks very odd indeed there i don't know what's happened to that wee black thing at the back it's just it just tightens up the uh the bracket that holds the phone that's that's all it does really but it's still an important an integral part of the contraption we can't be without a man so i need to have a a decent look for it. So here we go. This is the first point of interest. Eh? Now I was down here not so long ago, mate. And mate, I mean, there's anybody there? Yeah. And the waters were actually quite low, but uh, obviously debts can be quite, quite high with all the rainfall. There we go. It's the first. We've got a kingfisher. And a heron, of course. Right in we go. Right, we've got the uh, usual trolley and bike combination today. Oh, okay. 
and there's the mosaic but somebody's put a, a bit of graffiti down underneath it there so anyway. oh, got, oh look at this man we've got the wow look at that heron that two herons yeah chasing each other awesome well keeping on with uh, yesterday's graffiti theme loads of graffiti down here and here we go Spares! That was quite good, I didn't stutter like I normally do. Right. Dichty. Is that Skype? I don't know who's done that. The two herons there, man. But uh, whoever it is, awesome. Fantastic. And they're coming out from there. What is mosaic here? So yeah, the Dixie's running quite fast today. Right now, see how there's a uh, there's a measuring stick over there. <coughs> it goes up to I can't quite one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it's about. Well, it won't be feet, will it? Well, I don't know what that'll be. What will that be? I don't know what's what's that? I don't know. It's some sort of nautical depth, is it? Um, Some more mosaic work. We've got, there, we've got a log and a, a bit of a chair. Desperate dab. <laughs> you notice there's loads of uh, magpies filling about the place. I'm, I'm doing my journal writing as usual and uh, Right about magpies, how all of a sudden there's just loads of them seem to be appearing from nowhere. And uh, a group of magpies, normally about four or five in a group, and when they are they're all together, there's one there. Look, there they go, look, and they're majestic sort of to do that sort of thing when they're, when they're flying. They do this sort of dive bomb thing and whoosh, whoosh, up and down motion. It's called a parliament, a parliament of magpies. So there you go, folks. And there's loads of them, look at them all over in those trees over there. There must be quite a few parliaments going on over there. So who plays here, folks? I don't know. And as the ball comes in, it's the last second. He shoots. Oh, but Betty, what a save from this world-class keeper. He saved the team once again. And he takes the goal kick punts it down to the other side and it goes right down the other side of the wing it's crossed in now who's gonna get it all comes in i bet he chests it down boom it's at the back of the net what a goal what a player he's done it he's scored in the last second uh yeah okay so i don't know who plays here man um but uh yeah fairfield park there we go fantastic now, unfortunately behind fairfield park we have going on here. That must have still been from the floods I reckon, is it? Probably. It's a pumping station or something, isn't it? So, Drumkeith, which I've just come from, and from Latham. Isn't that way? Right, here we go. It's quite deep here. Look. We can walk over it. Oh. Bit disconcerting. Goodness. Got a giant run over the pipe. So I'm on this uh, bridge, a bridge of two halves. Look, you've got a solid half, and you've also got. I'm very careful. My phone doesn't fire, and I've also got um, a see-through half. Like so, it's a bit. You know, I'm like going over these things, but uh, it's a, a bridge of two halves. Never knew this existed. There we go. So why is the bridge like that? Is there a reason for it, um, or is it just as a so like a tourist attraction for the local area. I don't know really, but um, is it something they can poke sticks through so they can test the depth of the water? 
who knows? Who knows? We've got a signpost here. Uh, for Trotic Ponds, Clay Pots, and Whitfield Drive. Uh, look at that. Right. There's loads of wildlife here, loads of butterflies and um, bees and sort of funny little shaped birds. There's, there's one just went right by me there. Ah, it's amazing. Loads of wildlife down here. Wow, look at this nice little bit here, man. Look. Wow. That count as a park bench, Jock? I don't know, it's not in a park, but there's a bench. Oh, what's that? That's a nice sound. Spotted folks, there's always a ball. There it is, look at that. but yeah it's incredible the amount of different bird noises that I've heard just just on this quick little stroll uh, along obviously where the river flows there is life life water is life man so that's why uh, whenever you oh what the hell is that goodness me something massive oh, what was that goodness oh it's a dog is it a, it's a deer it's a deer what on earth Deer, folks, there's deer in the tank, guys. Look, there's a stuff that's going on. Oh, a deer. Where's it gone? On the track. Let's go over that way, man. Whoa. So, just as I, just as I was saying there, a deer come out of nowhere. I think I got frightened by there's a couple walking a dog. I think I got scared, but um, there's definitely a sort of a herd of deer that live around this area and the Dicty again. Water makes life, you see. So uh, I've seen them before down at um, Damside Sainsbury's, and this area here obviously has just got some sort of attraction for the deer. Wild urban deer, man, and I've got a woodpecker. An urban woodpecker, digga, 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 digga. this machine gun, digga, digga, digga. it's amazing, man. I wish I, could, I wish I could see it. So, where do we go? Down here, is it? I think we go. I could go on, but my hour, my hour's time is almost is almost up, folks. So, we better get back to the car before the hour police get onto me. Discarded green pyramid of consumerism trolley. So there we have it, folks. Today's walk, just a quick up and around the Dickety area, just beside where I work actually, and just a mile's drive today. So um, I would also John Rogers. Hello, John. He does similar things. Uh, he does sort of, he started to do micro walks around his area, uh, which is down in Leighton in London. Very interesting. He's finding all these little archaeological sites and 
bombed house and things um very similar very similar to what uh, to what we do man so uh, he's a kindred spirit as john i've got his autograph as well which is a prized possession and i'm actually rereading at the moment i've got two books on the go i've got the other london by uh, by john of course uh, which is my prized possession with the autographed envelope excellent and also I'm reading scarp again by nick papaditrum papa do papa papaditrumius papa oh i can't remember how you pronounce his name that's a brilliant book man. it's just so well written i wish i could write like that absolutely excellent right in we go and i still don't know what happened to the am i sitting on it what's that oh no it's not i thought it was the knob but it's not folks so i still don't know what's happened to the the little black knob man it's weird it was just disappeared oh, it's just that's just my head and things like that man i just don't understand how how i could have lost it it's just it was there and then it wasn't it's, it's gone into into another void a void of things that you lose and you can never find you know, a bit of my wallet's there and my wallet's in this other dimension you know where you drop something and it just woof, it's away my wallet and that black knob's there there's a couple of other bits and pieces however that's on that sad note folks we end today's adventure thank you Day. <clears throat> I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen, right? Stay there, come on, right. Stay. <clears throat> and the ball comes in. Pretty chest it down, left foot, right foot. Boom! To the corner, what a goal! What a goal from Betty! He's done it again. What a player.